What is up dudes, here is Ingrip and welcome back. Dudes, I had an idea about uh, Amuri Warfare and um, this goes to tanks I would like to see in the game in the near future. And if not in the progressive track tree or also uh, in the premium shop, who knows, or maybe as tanks in the battle path for the upcoming battle path events. And the first tank that I want to speak about, it will be probably a tier 10. And honestly, it will be a tier 10. The object 477A Molot. So known as uh, the Hammer or Buntar, the Rebel or Boxer or Note. Uh, object 477A1 Note or Note. Uh, it, it is a Soviet and an Ukrainian experimental main battle tank with uh, a turret without crew. So it's very similar to T-15 Armata and TTB, but um, it is uh, a bit different about this tank. So this tank was developed in the 1980s uh, in the design bureau of Kharkiv or Charkiv, something like this is called. So it has an, a gun of 152 millimeters to a 73. Subsequently, uh, state founding was received under the program. So, however, the early product did not work. The tank, according to developers, uh, and should be literally stuffed with electronics and have a thermal imager. Um, but the Soviet industry, due to the chronic backlog, could not give them. So, um, it's an experimental tank that comes with a very interesting design. Um, slightly easier to fight with him and not so much. So, the only thing that he might get damaged, it might be just at the bottom of the turret. Or the lower plate and sides and rear will be just the penetration rounds and um it is it looks very very good as a tank i'm really interested to see this tank coming in the game it has that big gun hopefully it's gonna do a lot of damage and uh, not be so much nerfed as um the tank was made as a multi-layer combined armor using built-in dynamic protection from the new generation also it had uh, a complex of active protection and optoelectric su suppression uh, of the curtain combined armor. So something like, um, I don't know, ERA or something like this, much better than ERA probably, with at least 1200 millimeters of homogeneous armor from armor piercing sub caliber shells, excluding dynamic protection and equivalent to at least 1800 millimeters of homogeneous armor from cumulative ammunition excluding dynamic protection so the tank was also equipped with two stroke 60 df engine so this tank had two two freaking engines which is uh, very similar to the other object 490 you know and um it produced a capacity of 1500 horsepower which is freaking insane um so object 490 object 477 object 47a object 77a1 object 77a2 object 77b were machines with two stroke diesels and a running gear with element borrowed from the t64 tank a machine with gas turbine engine on the t80 platform various hybrids for example, on one of the experimental samples in the chassis combined rollers from the T64 and the caterpillars from the T72. So the tank, it had very similarities between T64, T72 tank and T80. Uh, no doubt, you know, nowadays some T80 tanks are being uh, remodeled or being uh, uh, technologically advanced or being upgraded for, you know. Uh, nowadays uh, wars and so on the war between ukraine and russia led to appearance of 10 prototypes so this is real shit guys this is real real shit and the main advantage of the 477a was the unhabited turret something like 
uh, TTB or, for, uh, or T14 Armata or T14 152 so, uh, and other tanks which are currently not in the game or are and I forgot to mention. So I'm looking forward to see this tank how it pops out as you guys may saw from the slides. Uh, it looks very impressive. Um, I'm gonna put uh, also an image to see how the tanks, uh, the tank looks and um, how it's been left outside um, in the field with just the chassis and the gun or just a part of the gun and how presumably it would have been sitting in the, the crew inside you know also Russia then decided to abandon the project in a favor of its own development and stopped funding this decision put an end to the history of promising project for the second time so they tried many times but uh, it kind of sucked you know but the ukrainian people designers did not stop ukraine could not continue the work on its own so the project was frozen according to the drawing recite of a new aiming system equipped with a thermal imaging channel a coaxial t 62 machine gun and a 12.7 millimeters anti-aircraft machine gun as well as a complex of dynamic protection and optoelectronic suppression stora uh, called stora so one prototype is stored in the village of klugino bashir kirvka uh, charkiv region uh, so the tank uh, it is available but uh, uh, yeah it's really really bad conditions the way it looks um, just a few details some images cropped um, in one image you may see that the tank it has the turret uh, on the chassis which is freaking insane the way it looks and one tank it's outside uh, one has no tracks uh, or it has tracks but no you know chain attached and so on so the existing object 477A was proposed to be modified using certain systems. In this form, the tank received the designation of 477A1, a new proper name as Note. So I'm expecting to see this tank uh, to reload very fast because it says that it reloads in 4 seconds. And imagine to be a tier 10 to do around 800 and 1000 damage in 4 seconds. At the size of this, it has a drum of 10 shots. Also another feature, in some guns it has 12 shots. It's a very very tricky vehicle to have and to say the least, project not, it's not being a further development of boxer or hammer. So it is a retained uh, of a number of fundamentally new ideas and solutions for the tank building. So the full was proposed to be built according to the traditional scheme, but uh, with the replacement of the entire crew under the protection of the sides and the crew and the roof. So the as you saw in some images, the crew was sitting right in front of the tank, below those thick upper plates, and in front where it's not so much of a damage probably it's gonna have the same issues as 490 since it has uh, two engines the entire mass of the tank was around 50 tons so much lighter than even a tier i don't know tier 8 4 or 5 something like this uh the object 771a1 tank continued until the beginning of the 2000s so then the russia decided to abandon the project probably the decision was due to the desire to concentrate all offers on development of their own enterprise such as object 195 or 640 which you guys really know that i really like object 640 it's uh, very impressive but also 195 that i have it and i really like to play with that tank also so the 152 gun should be replaced with a 140 millimeter caliber system developed in nato countries because of lack of funding and only in 2015 charkis residents began to actively promote the issue of bringing the notes the tank 477a1 into order in order to expand serial production and adopt the ukrainian army apparently some funding was found 
as they even wanted to show the model at the parade in honor of the Benson Day in 2016. According to some reports, move to 2018 parade. Tell me what you think guys about this tank in the comment section. Um, I'm looking forward to see it in the game. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And as always, I'll catch you in the next video.